great question. I've been hearing a lot about mitochondria. What can I do to support them? Great question. So mitochondria are basically the powerhouse of our body. They're inside our cells and they create energy. So I've said this before, but it's worth repeating. Our body has a product and its product is energy. Okay. That's how we get things done. That's how we digest food. That's how we restore our cells. That's how we grow our hair. That's how we lose weight. It's energy. It's energy expenditure. We create and release energy. That's our product. So when you have a conveyor belt making a product um, such as this pen and you're going along the conveyor belt and parts are missing, let's say this piece is missing or this piece is missing, it causes a problem in the end product. So this is basically what the mitochondria are. We have things such as oxygen moving down the mitochondria in order to produce ATP, which is energy. So here's some of the issues. Stress hurts the mitochondria. Let's talk about some stressors. Some people say, you know, a lot of the research right now is surrounding COVID and mitochondria, right? And is it, is it causing damage to the mitochondria? And the answer is probably because it can be very stressful. At least the past strains were very stressful. I know during the initial stages of the virus, they were finding that those that had really significant presentations also had really high cortisol levels. Their body was under complete stress. So it makes sense that it would damage. The other thing is uh, mitochondria are run quite a bit off antioxidants, right? Which comes from good food, low stress, clean air, right? A lot of the things we don't have, right? Um, so how to support them? I really look at using a lot of antioxidants. There's a lot of research, obviously, and I'm sure you've read about on CoQ10, quercetin, but just some of the standards as well, looking at glutathione and vitamin C and stress reduction, proper nutrition. It takes time. There's a lot of specialty mitochondrial products out there um, that are great, that have, you know, just overall uh, support for the mitochondria. But ultimately, if you're getting damage to the mitochondria, my first question would be, why? Why are we getting damage? Right? My guess, stress, oxidative stress, stuff is going on in the body that's hindering the cells. So we really need to pay more closer attention to that. Adrenal fatigue is behind this for sure.